Holy Bitcoin, we've got a breakout on our hands here. Huge move to the upside, tons of green. And in the video I did last, two days ago, we were highlighting the Bitcoin breakout that was going to be coming. And I did make an entry, as I said, right when I was in the video, I said, I need to exit or stop the video and get into Bitcoin soon. And that's exactly what I did and didn't hold it the whole way up. Very nice gains to the upside, but I was in and out and jumping back and forth. And we'll highlight a trade done yesterday just for some short-term action. But overall, big time gains for Bitcoin bulls. The big bull move initiated once we broke 29.57. And then of course, when we hit the new all-time high over 3,000, there was no looking back. And in terms of this most recent breakout, it was the new all-time high over 34.89 that really got the bulls going. And from there, we saw $700 to the upside. As of right now, we're definitely seeing consolidation and profit taking off to alpha 4,200. This is a bearish reversal inverted hammer forming with a big upper wick of profit taking. And if we look to consolidate, the base of support that we will look to maintain is the low of the last consolidation. So we can see a lot of downside and we've already seen $250 of downside in a very short amount of time. But that's because of how quickly we move to the upside without really building a support on the way up. So the support that we need to hold is down at 32.32. So that's a long way away. Bulls want to form a higher low somewhere. Ideally, I'd say healthy consolidation and staying in full control for the bulls would form a higher low above 3,600. But again, that's still further downside of potentially 300 plus dollars. So this is why I like being a trader rather than just holding on today or this morning, early this morning, I woke up and rolled over and saw where we were at on the shorter term time frames. I was looking at the 15 minute and I sold at 41.91 and exited my position and now i'm all cash here just waiting for the dust to settle a little bit to see where i want to put my money next so looking at the hourly time frame here we have a significant pullback we have the next hourly support down at 37.36 so that's another support level to be watching the more you zoom in the more clear certain levels become and we also just bounced off of a level that the bulls would ideally love to hold as they are forming a bullish reversal hourly candlestick off of this level and that's down at 38.50 so bullish reversal candlestick off of 38.50, but because we have broken the higher low pattern here, we will now look to start forming lower highs and lower lows as we begin to consolidate. So if we do see a bounce here back up to the $4,100 range or so, I would personally be looking to take profit just because I know the odds are more likely than not that we do see further downside. We had a little bit of increasing bear volume, and unless we saw increasing bull volume back towards the all-time high, then I would look to uh, exit and again, try and find other places for my money to work. And because the correlation has been breaking between the big three, last night it was very, very clear that Bitcoin was breaking out and everybody was dumping everything to get into Bitcoin, it looked like. So Ethereum and Litecoin were dumping into oversold conditions while Bitcoin was raging to new all-time highs. And that provided us an opportunity, which I will point out in detail of what we capitalized on, but initially uh, exited a position in Bitcoin up here in the 4080s not exactly in the 4080s, but up in that level 4060s to 4080s. And we had a bearish reversal candlestick on the hourly. And then we pulled back a significant amount, about $140. But while this pullback was going on, we had Ethereum in extreme oversold condition. So I sold Bitcoin here and jumped into the Ethereum bounce. Other people stayed in Bitcoin just to make things easy, which obviously led to further upside. But the play in Ethereum was looking on the hourly time frame. So let's just line up where we were at that same point in time. As we began consolidating in Bitcoin, that was at 11 p.m. Eastern. So right here as we are approaching 4080 and 4126, this is the top where we were getting very bullish action. But that was where I exited because after seeing the amount of upside that we saw, I saw a risk to reward opportunity where the gains from where we currently stood on Bitcoin up in the 4080s compared to the potential gains on an oversold bounce for Ethereum, because at that time, Ethereum's hour hourly RSI, we were in the low 20s, and the price dipped all the way down to 289.50, and that was a buying opportunity where I exited Bitcoin, I got into Ethereum, I did not time the bottom, I got in at about, I believe my average was about the 295s, so certainly didn't nail the bottom, but I got into the 235s, I sold and let's go into the shorter term time frames because I did make a couple trades within the same window here. So this was the dip. This was the candlestick, a volume climax signaling the temporary bottom. We dipped down to 289.50. I entered on this candlestick to the downside with some bids. Average was at about 295. Next candlestick, I sold in the low 300s. So I made about an $8 move on that initial bounce. And I knew to sell 
because number one, I like the gains that I had from flipping to Bitcoin and coming right into Ethereum and, and the trade, the switch working really well. So I didn't want to be greedy. I locked that in. But it was also this resistance right here, 303.91, 303.77, and we topped out at 303.82. So a clear base of resistance, or I should say a top of resistance at that level. So I exited in the low 300s and then I rebought again. I rebought at the 295s on this consolidation because it was a significant enough bounce that I liked the odds where if I did make another re-entry, I would exit if we did break below here and I would still walk away with a small amount of profit. So at that point on my re-entry, I wasn't risking anything except for the profit that I had just made on that bounce. So I re-entered at the 295s and at this point I was using the five minute time frame to get more detail. And it was this initial bounce with the initial bounce. And here it was where we had all this very volatile action. So we dipped down. I made my entry at 295s. I sold on the way up in the low 300s. I rebought on the way back down in 295s. Or actually, it was actually 296 was the average that I got in. And I, I like that re-entry because of the lack of any bear volume. We were seeing declining bear volume on healthy consolidation. After two big bull volume candlesticks, I did anticipate that higher low to form. So made an entry in the 296 average range. And then I exited on this candlestick. I didn't like the amount of bear volume behind this candlestick. So I was a part of the action on the way back down, again, in the low 300s. So it was about an $8 flip on initially and then it was about a oh a five six dollar flip again so that's a fourteen dollar flip in ethereum average with two flips whereas bitcoin we were consolidating during that time and i did re-enter bitcoin again and got a little bit more upside and then made that exit as i rolled over this morning so the point here being people that are staying in one name absolutely they're making nice gains but being agile and jumping around from one opportunity to the next in my opinion is more beneficial if you are comfortable doing that when you can see these opportunities that are approaching which allowed me to get more profit than i otherwise would have gotten staying in any individual name so let's backtrack a little bit and after that initial review of my trade let's now look at where we stand here on ethereum so ethereum is potentially forming an equilibrium weekly pattern i would not be surprised to see it at all look at this resistance from a little bounce attempt on this week back here in the end of june that had a high of 323.69 and the high of this week is 319.70. So that is still a lower high. I'm watching an equilibrium pattern. So we've seen a nice bounce play out, a potential bearish reversal candlestick forming here on the weekly time frame as well. And watching to see if that's going to be our lower high. And then we'll pull back and try and form a higher low in the low 200 range. And that would be a significant pullback. We need to be cautious of the kind of bearish momentum we do see from this point forward. But that is an upper wick of profit taking. And we'll see how this candlestick ends up shaping on the weekly time frame. But just always watching for that equilibrium pattern following high volatility. So we had the huge breakout. We had a significant pullback. And now we're just going to look for this range to tighten up a little bit on the weekly time frame for Ethereum. Zooming in, there is a trade approaching. The hourly RSI is right back towards oversold. There's not many supports in this range. I'm looking down at 287, 286. Actually, we already broke this support. It was 288.34. So after 287, the low that we've seen on this consolidation, the next supports that I'm looking at, 286.47, 283.10, and then all the way down to 276.55. I will be looking for a bullish entry here on another hourly oversold dump. Would like to see a price drop down into the mid to low 280s. I think that'd be a nice entry. And again, the four hour RSI at this point has seen six red candlesticks in a row. No sign of any bounce on this four hour time frame, but after seeing that much downside in a row, it's not often that we see six, seven red candlesticks in a row on this four hour time frame without even just a small oversold bounce. So I will be looking for an hourly oversold bounce in Ethereum. That's a potential play that I'm looking at this morning to be getting into, but I don't see anything at this point that I'm liking because the 15 minute time frame is very clearly seeing lower highs and lower lows, no real spikes in bull volume and no higher low established yet to try and turn this trend around. Checking in on Litecoin, the weekly time frame same thing with the upper wick of profit taking this is a bearish reversal inverted hammer candlestick so we have our high the low of the pullback potentially this is our lower high and we'll look to pull back and form a higher low ideally for the bulls above 38 28 the low of this consolidation here so let's get rid of this support line this is the key support line that the bulls want to hold and we have our new resistance line up there that's the channel on the weekly time frame to be watching on the daily time frame however we have a big bullish reversal candlestick trying to form so after a bull move breaking the lower high pattern on the daily we now have a higher low trying to be established and tomorrow the bulls need to see a solid green day and a break of these lower highs by getting over 47 38 
break that and see a nice solid green day to be looking back up towards $50 psychological resistance. We are, however, still seeing resistance on the four hour time frame. This is a nice downtrend resistance line that I drew on this candlestick rejection. And now here we are rejecting from it again. So that's a key downtrend resistance to be watching until we get over that level. I'm not going to be looking for too much bullish action. We did see a huge dip buying opportunity. So while I was flipping Ethereum at the same time, we were seeing this huge bounce on Litecoin definitely would have gotten some more gains had I played Litecoin instead, but obviously did not have the foresight to see that. And I'm certainly not going to sit here and say, oh man, shoulda, woulda, coulda, because I'm very happy with the way that I was trading and the profits that I got. So this was a huge bullish reversal candlestick, but it didn't see any follow through. There's no confirmation here. So even though we bounced from 4405 to 4738, about a six, 7% bounce, and that occurred all just about in one hour, two hours there, it didn't see any follow through and we're fading again. So Still not seeing the kind of action that I like on Litecoin for a bullish entry because we're not oversold anymore. The hourly RSI is not nearly as oversold. We had that bounce play out. Ethereum's hourly RSI is certainly more oversold at this point. So heading into today, I am watching a trade in Ethereum for an oversold bounce. Missed this entry on Bitcoin as we have a nice bounce from Bitcoin off 38.50 up to 39.89. So $140 move here in a very short amount of time. Looking on the 15 minute time frame under an hour where this bounce has played out and certainly very nice short-term gains to be had there i'll be looking for the same kind of short-term move on an ethereum bounce when that does end up playing out so all in all we need to be cautious at these levels now bitcoin is still very strong but it is beginning its longer term consolidation in my opinion longer term meaning this hourly chart potentially tightening up with some equilibrium patterns or seeing further downside from here so going to be aware of that and not expecting bitcoin to hit a new all-time high today but I will be looking at these other opportunities for some short-term trades. Overall, though, the daily charts are telling us that after the very strong week that we've seen, it's time to consolidate. So Ethereum just saw you know, a big bull move eight days in a row. Bearish reversal spinning top candlestick now being confirmed on the daily time frame. Litecoin on the daily time frame saw that big bullish reversal candlestick has to get confirmation of it and Bitcoin on the daily time frame bearish reversal inverted hammer potentially forming. So all across the board here we're seeing caution for the bulls. We're seeing healthy consolidation following a week long breakout and from here we're going to be looking at some short term oversold dip buying opportunities but I'm not going to be looking to hold longer term because I do believe that the daily charts have more room for consolidation in the short term as we enter next week. So I appreciate you watching, still pumping away at that course, getting a good chunk done yesterday, gonna put in another good chunk today and still having the goal of finishing it by end of August. Certainly will keep you posted. I appreciate everybody watching and hope you have a good rest of your weekend.